Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's the Bearded Man podcast with your favorite and the world's favorite bearded man, Bob Bay. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys and gals right now. Literally just recorded episode 9 of the podcast, started playing it back and realized I completely missed an entire section. So I considered what I was going to do for this, for 60 seconds and I said, you got to run it back. You got to redo this podcast. So we're here for actually episode nine and a half because I already recorded this, but now we got to run it back and I'm excited because I'll do a better job now that this is my second go around. Thank you guys and gals for your patience. We're back. We're live. Um, episode nine though, we'll take it. One away from double digits will be a 10 soon enough. Kind of crazy to think about, you know, 10 episodes under the belt. We're starting to make some progress, starting to shape this podcast into what I want it to become. So constantly just a work in progress, still trying to understand what is the ultimate direction of this podcast. It's pretty much a therapy session with the bearded man where I'm just kind of spilling my two cents on thoughts that are brewing in my mind. Um, but definitely trying to think outside the box and how else could I create this content, this podcast and how could I maybe incorporate people into it without being so much of an interview? Um, so I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this podcast and hope you guys and gals are as well. Uh, we got to give a shout out today to the fact that we're at episode, excuse me, we're at day. Look, I'm already, I'm already lost in the sauce because I'm now repeating myself. Um, we are at day 37 of the quarantine here in LA. So that's, that's good. I hope you guys and gals are health, happy and safe wherever you are in the world dealing with this. But we're going to keep moving on. We don't need to talk about it. We hear about it enough in the media. But we just want to, you know, recognize that we're day, th- day 37 in here. Um, but I want to give a quick shout out to my man, Zach Tinmore, for the review of the week on the podcast. Great props to my man. Uh, he's been rocking with me for the last couple of years. I use There's certain names that you just see along the journey when you're not popping and having millions and millions of followers. So it's kind of nice to be able to... Uh, recognize names and I appreciate Zach because he's been rocking with me since Purpose in the Youth and a lot of the content that I've been making these last couple years. Um, but he left a review just saying, quote unquote, a freaking legend in the making. Love it, man. Keep killing it at Liquid IV. And I really appreciate that, Zach. I appreciate you rocking with me for so long. And uh, we got a lot more content away, my man. We got a ton, ton, ton more coming. So today's topic the critic mindset, what holds us back from making pros- progress. Um, something I want to talk about, you know, something that's been, that's brewing in my mind today. Woke up, no idea of what I wanted to podcast about and wrote down a couple ideas. This one seemed pretty interesting to me and something that I wanted to talk about with you guys and gals today. Um, you know, I think we all probably have dealt with this in our own lives. I deal with it still to this day where I have this critic in my head that, you know, I am my biggest critic and, um, I, I can easily um, let certain thoughts go through my head. Um, I've definitely trained myself to not think this way, as we'll get into in today's podcast. And I've found ways to kind of battle it, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, I think I think our mindset is like a muscle. And the more we train it and form it into the, the mindset we want to have, I think it then will become that. Um, but I think of it in two ways. I think the mindset, there's there's two ways to look at it. You have the growth in one hand and you have the critic in the other. And the growth is the one that we all envy to have, excuse me, want to have. That's one that cheers us on when we need it the most. It helps us get off our asses and start making progress. It gives us that boost of confidence when we just need somebody to push ourselves. We, we have that voice inside us like, yeah, Bobby, you got this. You're the bearded man. You're the best podcast in the world. The world just doesn't know yet. Keep going. You got this, bro. There's that that voice in my head. Um, and then the, the growth mindset is just always continuously dreaming bigger, always looking for new goals. You know, we, we reach a milestone and we're on to the next one. Um, and, and that's what the growth mindset is. That's the one I think we all want to have and we all can have. It's just a choice as we'll get into today. The opposite is the critic, the critic mindset. Nobody wants this, but yet we all, I'm sure, deal with it. I personally deal with it. Um, and I think many, many people do, you know, this is the one that loves to believe we don't have what it takes to grow and become who we would like to be. Uh, it rationalizes. There's no need to make progress today. There's always tomorrow. We can keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. We focus on our weaknesses more than our strengths, even though our strengths outweigh our weaknesses. It's just about being aware. Sometimes we just, we might have two weaknesses and, and a thousand strengths, but we want to focus our time on those two weaknesses when the strengths easily outweigh the weaknesses. So that's the critic mindset, focusing on the weaknesses when we, we shouldn't be allowing ourselves to do that. We believe it's impossible to reach our dreams and goals. I just spit on the mic. That's disgusting. Um, 
but yeah, we, we think it's impossible. We see other people that are reaching towards their goals and making things happen. And for some reason, seeing other people do it, we think if they're doing it, we can't do it. That's not the way to think. We're here to change that mindset, but that's the way the critics think. And we, and we fall for that comparison trap, kind of going off that. We see other people, you know, striving, making big things happen in their lives. And we think that if they are doing it, there's no chance that we'll be able to when that is absolutely not the truth. That's what I'm here for. And uh, we're going to take a quick high quality water break because I've obviously been talking a lot longer before this podcast started. Mm. Man. Get you guys and gals some water. It's really good. It's cheap too. It's free. Faucet. Love it. Um, yeah. Anywho, it's our choice. Uh, which of the two mindsets do we want to do? We pick. Do we want that that growth mindset, which picks us up and it's pushing us forward towards these big goals that we have for ourselves, or do we want the critic, which wants us to say exactly where we are, be complacent, and not make any progress? Let's spend about five seconds thinking about which mindset do we want. The growth or the critic? Five seconds. Oh, yeah. I know what you guys are thinking. I can't even see you and I can't even hear you. I know exactly what you're thinking. You want the growth. Yeah, that's right. You want the growth. That's the choice you want. So let's look at the critic and let's understand what are the traits of the critic mindset so that we can avoid it and we can actually get the critic. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you with me? Clap it up if you are. Scream and shout. Tell your neighbor. Tell everybody. We're diving in right now. Yeah. The critic mindset. Five traits in those who don't believe in their own potential, who don't believe they have what it takes when you do. In my experience, I've dealt with all five. So just know as I'm you know, sitting on my throne thinking I'm Mr. Cool Guy because I'm talking about all these things. Just know this is also coming from personal experience, okay? I didn't just pull this out of my butt and think I'm like the cool guy, all right? This is always from personal experience, and so just know that I'm coming at it from that angle. Okay, five traits of the critic mindset. Number uno, number one, procrastination. Not good. Procrastination, we need to kill it right now. Get it out of here. I've dealt with it. We've all dealt with it. We all hate it, but yet we still procrastinate the goals and the things we want to do. The critic continuously pushes the work for another day, quote unquote. There's always tomorrow. I'll get it done. Just not feeling it. Never been feeling it for the last two years, but I just know that tomorrow's the day, tomorrow's the day, tomorrow's the day. We need to cut that out. That's what. That's the way the critic thinks. They rationalize that we don't have the inspiration, so we and we don't want we don't know where to start, right? There's no inspiration to start, so not gonna start it. Procrastination, not fun. We get anxious thinking about what it might take to 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 we, excuse me. We get anxious thinking about what it might take to work towards a certain goal, so we freeze up and we don't move. We get anxious. There's so much work to be done, we don't even know where to start. The growth mindset, the the mindset we do want to have is is looking at it from a different perspective. It's there is never going to be the perfect time. The time is now. This is the moment. This is the moment where I woke up this morning and I honestly debated, do I want to record a podcast today? I did the last three weeks. I could skip a fourth. Nobody's even going to care. No, Bobby, no bearded man. That's not what this is about. This is about you pushing yourselves. You are going to get up off your feet. You're going to take a shower. You're going to go sit down. You're going to open up your laptop. You're also going to get a cup of coffee. You're going to drink some of the coffee. You're going to get inspiration. You're going to put on deep focus on the Spotify playlist. It's going to get you flowing. You're going to start typing away on your laptop. You have no idea what you're working towards. You have no idea what the topic is going to be, but you're going to find something to talk about. And then we found something to talk about because I opened up the laptop. I got out of my bed. I made coffee, had breakfast, took a shower, started typing. Here we are today for the round two of the podcast because I butchered the first one. See how that works. I showed up. I put in the work. I, and and I instead of procrastinating, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. I did it today because I told myself I need to do it. And showing up is where the momentum begins. As I was just laying out those steps of how I got to this moment of recording this podcast, it's all those baby steps of showering, just getting ourselves mind ready to start putting in the work. Once you get flowing, once the, once the engine starts rolling, your mind starts getting fired up, you're off to the races. You cannot and will not be stopped. And it, it doesn't have to be podcasts, you know, opening the laptop, turning on the mic. It could be anything. Whatever it is, it's just showing up to do the work and knowing that it's going to take a little bit of time, but you will slowly start getting the, the blood flowing. So in order to do that, 
Take it one step at a time. Don't let the excuses hold us back from doing the actual work. Procrastination is a critic mindset and it's a trait that we don't want. No, 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 not in our watch. Awesome. Second trait is impatience. Does anybody enjoy patience? No. Do I want to be a massive podcaster? Yes. Do I want millions of people chanting the bearded man, the bearded man all over the world in every country? Yes. But is it going to happen today? No. Is it going to happen in the future? Absolutely. I hope so. But no, in all honesty, the critic is thinking about impatience too much. It's if we don't see the results we're looking for today, never going to come. Just nope, not showing up. No chance in this world. The critic is allowing the impatience to get to them and it's not good. As the great Gary Vee once said, and I'm, I, I hope you all know him by now because of how much I talk about this man in my, my content. He said, there is nothing worse than putting a time limit on a goal. Let me say that one more time. There is nothing worse than putting a time limit on a goal. The moment we put a time limit to a goal is the moment we are holding ourselves to this expectation that if we don't reach it by then, we're, we're not successful. Yes, like I think it's important to you know, try to put time, not time limits, put uh, like goals for ourselves to reach by a certain time, but it shouldn't mean that up, oh, didn't reach it, got to give up. That's the, that's the impatient. That's the critic. We don't want that. We, if we're not seeing the results, we just, um, excuse me, we aren't seeing the results. So we assume that if we haven't made it happen now, it's impossible or it won't happen. That's the critic thinking if we're not getting the results today. It's just impossible. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. New, 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 new. The growth mindset is the longer it takes, the more time I have to work on the craft. I'm glad I didn't blow up off of my first YouTube or my first podcast because I wasn't great. What I, you know, I'll give myself, I'll pat myself on the back. I was good. It's decent. I kind of had an idea of what I was working towards, but I wasn't great. Still not great. Still work in progress. But had I blown up off the first one, I wasn't ready. I, I wouldn't have been ready. If Gary Vee said, yes, I'll be episode two of your podcast, I would have been shaking in my boots. I wouldn't have known what I was doing. Now I'm much more comfortable because I've put in the time I've gotten, I've honed in on the craft. I've put in you know, maybe not the 10,000 hours just yet, but I've put in a lot of hours compared to that first episode. And so whether you're a songwriter, writing the first song, a writer, writing the first blog post, a visual creator, making their first video for the first time. Yes, we all have that view and that goal and that idea of like who we want to become, but we have to fall in love with the idea of like the longer it takes us to get there, the more time we have to hone in on the craft. And so as, as hard as it might be, we have to fall in love with patience it's giving us more time to develop, to hone in on the craft and get better and better. The critic wants it today. The, the growth mindset is saying, if I don't have it today, that's fine because I'm getting better every single day. Number three, third trait, insecurity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Insecurities will kill people. Kill, kill, kill. The critic, it holds us back from pursuing our dreams and our goals because we don't believe we have what it takes. We don't have the confidence we make up all these excuses in ourselves. We just are like, nope, I don't have what it takes. It's impossible. We let that voice in our head make us feel like we don't have what it takes. Cut that voice out. It's not true. We all have it within ourselves. And we fall for the comparison trap. We see and compare other people's journeys, success, what they look like, the skills, whatever they have in their life. And we think that because they have it, we can't have it. Not true. We need to let their success fire us up. The growth mindset, we beat the insecurity by being honest with ourselves and being in the moment, by being right here and right now and going, what can I do right now that's gonna improve myself? What's gonna make me better? Um, you know, we, rem we remind ourselves to focus on 24 hour in front of us. We fall in love with the small wins, these day-to-day -day wins, you know, recording this one podcast. It, it, it all seems so little bit of progress, you know, half a percent every day, but over that long time is that's when we're really gonna grow. That's when we're gonna become the person we were always meant to be. We appreciate um, you know, the, for the insecurity, for the growth mindset, we appreciate every characteristic of ourselves because it makes us feel unique and one of a kind. We are one of a kind. I am the bearded man. I got blue eyes. I got, you know, uh, hairy arms, hairy everything. I'm cool, six foot, whatever. I mean, like, this is just who I am. This is what I'm trying to say, okay? I have my strengths. I have my weaknesses. I'm in love with who I am because I am unique. I am who I am. Like, there's 
You know, there's flaws that I have in myself. Big forehead, don't care. Keep it moving. Um, and we all there's always going to be something about ourselves that we wish was different. It's about ins- the growth mindset for insecurity is about accepting who we are, understanding our strengths, understanding our weaknesses, and just falling in love with the person that we can become. And, uh, you know, I really do think the, the best way to look at it is just we are in complete control of that person we do become in the future. Absolutely in control of it. It's up to us. Fourth aspect. Don't like this trait, but of a critic, it's being a pessimistic. Ugh. Boo, boo, boo. Nobody wants to be around a pessimistic person. It's just not cool. It's not, it's just no, no good. The critic, everything is happening to us and therefore we can't control it. That's the way they look at it. If things don't go according to plan in our mind, it was never meant to be. We should probably move on. If we're not good enough today, we just never will be. Boo, boo, boo. Don't like this. Change the mindset. Get it out of here. We need to change to the growth. We must remind ourselves that there are two sides of the coin. The way in which we view the world is exactly the way the is how the world is going to become for us. How is it? So we look at it in the sense of how is this situation going to help me grow? Did we actually lose if we learned something along the way? Changing our perspective from negative Nancy to positive Pete will help us. Let me say that one more time. Don't be negative Nancy and boo, boo, boo. The world does not go in the way I want it to. Be Mr. Positive Pete. What a great guy. What a great person Positive Pete is. He looks at everything from an optimistic standpoint, very positive. He might not have what he wants today, but he knows he will get what he wants. He's looking at everything as a learning lesson. Every little setback is a learning lesson. Positive Pete is the way we need to live our life. Positive Pete. Positivity is the only option, ladies and gentlemen, in all honesty. That is just truth. There's no benefit to being a pessimistic. You're going to put yourself, you're, you're just digging yourself into a really, really deep hole. And nobody wants to do that. From the opposite standpoint, being positive is thinking, how is this helping me? What am I learning? How am I growing? Um, it, you, we might not have been dealt the cards that we wanted in life just yet. But from a positive, a positive standpoint, how can you see value in it? Sometimes I think people are probably like, this bearded guy is so cooked. He's just so positive. Like he must never have downtime or never have any, you know, bad moments. I have plenty of my own mental darkness challenges where I like I am in that critic mindset, but I just force the growth mindset in my mind. I force myself to be positive because I know that there is no better thing to do in this world than to just push myself to see the world from a positive lens. That's what it is. H two O break. Count it down. Ten. Nine. Mm. Mm. My golly. Water. You got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, so happy that this is the second time I recorded this podcast because this one is so much better than the first round. I was just not in the right mindset. This, however, much better. All right. The fifth and final trait of the critic mindset is non-believer. It's kind of the sum of a lot of things we just talked about. The critic, we expect others to believe in us before we even believe in ourselves. We think the world has to believe in us before we believe in ourselves. We think our goals are unattainable because of the amount of work it'll take to get there. We believe our weaknesses will weigh stronger than our strengths, as I've talked about. No, 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 none of that is true. The growth mindset, this is the mindset we need to have. We need to become our biggest hype man or hype woman. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You need to become the biggest hype person of all time for yourself before you expect anybody else to do the same for you. We need to push ourselves out of bed, even on the days we don't want to. We need to hold ourselves accountable to put in the work daily. We need to get inspired by other people's success and let them be examples that it is possible. Comparison trap, but the reverse. We see that they're doing, they're winning, so can we. And we have to believe in ourselves before anyone else does. It's as honest as that is, it's truthful. We need to just, even if you're on day one of starting that one thing, you got to tell yourself, I'm about to be the biggest blank the world has ever seen. The world doesn't know it yet. I'm going to be huge. Yeah, stop sleeping on me. Seriously, be your biggest hype man, hype woman. Cheer yourself up. Fire you up. Tell yourself to get out of bed the time you want to get out of bed. Tell yourself to put in the work on the days you said you were going to put in the work. We need to believe that anything is possible so long as we put our mind to it. Cliche, call what it is. It's truthful. You got to have a vision. 
You got to believe in yourself. So, so, and that comes down to the positive daily affirmations. You can read daily. You can write down your thoughts. You can write down, I want to become the biggest podcast in the world. I want to become the biggest podcast in the world. The beer man will become the biggest podcast in the world. It's, it's a truth. It's just a matter of time. But I have to believe it in myself before I believe any of you guys and gals will believe it in me. You feel me? You feel me? And wrap up. We have two options for our mindset, as we talked about today. We have the growth and the critic. The growth, the critic. Which do we want? Once again, pause for three seconds. One, two, three. You want the growth mindset. I already know. I can't even hear you, and I know what you're feeling. The growth mindset is the way to go. But when we're looking at the critic mindset so we can avoid it, the critic mindset holds us back from making progress because of five traits. It's a procrastination. Making an excuse for not doing the work today. Boo-hoo, we don't like procrastination. Get it out of here. Second trait, impatience. We aren't seeing the results we want to see today, so why not give up while we're ahead? Not true. We need to be patient. We need to fall in love with the journey. Number three, insecurity. Not good. We'll listen to the voice in our head that says we don't have what it takes when we do have what it takes. Don't listen to the, the critic mindset of the insecurity. You have what it takes the bearded man believes in you. That's all you need. Keep it going. Number four, pessimistic. If we are not good enough today, we never will be. Nope. We're just going to be negative Nancy. That's not the way to look at it. We're positive Pete as we talked about. We need to be positive. We need to believe that we have what it takes because we do. And lastly, we're a non-believer. We expect others to believe in us before we believe in ourselves. That is not the case. We do not want to be that critic mindset. We want to believe in ourselves before the world does. Because we won't be relying on the world to believe in us. We will believe in ourselves and we will keep putting in that work. If we can change our perspective and we can instead think from a growth mindset instead of a critic mindset, I promise you guys and gals, the world is yours. It is totally yours. I'm going to kick back and relax and watch you crush them dreams. But I really do believe that if we can think from a growth mindset instead of the critic mindset, we can accomplish any, any goal that we want. And the only reason I took it from the approach of the critic mindset today, once again, was just so that we understand what is the critic mindset and and what is how do we avoid it? And I think we went into it. Or did we? You know, this is my second time going through it because I screwed up the first podcast, but I'm glad I did because this one was so, so much better. Yeah, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the podcast today, please Smash that like button. Leave me a YouTube comment if you're watching visually. If you're on the audio, please screenshot it. Post it to your Instagram story. Tagging me at Bob Bay. That's B-O, three B's, four A's, and a Y. Helps get the word out about the content. If you really, really, really did enjoy it, head to the iTunes podcast app. Leave a one-sentence review or even a one-word review. Maybe, just maybe, you'll be episode 10 review of the week next week as we're hitting the double digits for the podcast. Let's go. But in all seriousness, leaving reviews helps. And shout out once again to my man, Zach Tenmore, for leaving a review today. If there is a topic you'd like me to cover, you know how to find me. At Bob A, B-O, three B's, four A's, and Y. Slide through my DM. Slide through my Twitter uh, messages. Poke me on Facebook. Shoot me an email. What topics you want me to talk about. If you got nothing, I'll pull something out of the, the content hat of the Bearded Man. Because I got a lot of shit to say. And I'll keep going. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys and gals are safe. In this crazy world that we're living in right now, once again, the critic mindset is not the way we want to think. We want to think from from a growth mindset and seeing what are the growth opportunities and everything that's happening in our lives today. Honestly, thank you guys and gals so, so much for taking the time to listen to the Bearded Man content because um, you guys fire me up. People that you know take the time to listen, it keeps me fired up to keep creating. And um, as I've said many times, you don't know where we're going with this podcast, but we're going to keep on cooking up and see where it takes us. So hope you all are safe and well. It is the world's favorite, your favorite, Bob A, the bearded man. We'll catch you guys and gals soon enough. See you next time. See ya.